Hey guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Maths. Right, this week we're going to continue with our numbers to 10. But today we're going to be looking at special patterns so we can subitize numbers. There's a special word there. So we're going to subitize numbers so we can count on to 10. So here are some of the special words that we're going to be using today. We're going to use number patterns, subitize, and counting on. So to join in today, you're going to need a few things. So if you've got a dice with dots from one to six, that would help you today. But to join in with our activities, you're going to need a tens frame. You're going to need up to 10 counters. And then also you will need number cards zero to 10. Right, here we go with numbers to 10. So you ready? Let's start off by counting from one to 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job, let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done. Good counting. Right, I've got a picture here, and it's a picture of two dice. And my first question is, how many spots are there all together? So I want you to count how many are on both dice. Are you ready? Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight spots. But you know, I know there is a much quicker way to count these. So I'm going to show you something special now. Right, there's five dice and they've all got different spots on them. And they've all got different patterns. And what we need to try and do is recognise the patterns. So if we look at the red dice, how many spots are on that red dice? Can you do it without counting them? Yeah, do you know, if we look carefully, there are four. There are four spots. What about the yellow dice? How many spots are there on there? Yeah, there's two. All right, if we just look at it, we can see there's two dots. We don't have to count them. What about the blue dice? Yeah, there's three. Again, we don't need to count them. We can just look at them and see that that pattern is three. What about the purple dice? Yeah, that's one. That's an easy one. We can see that. And the last one, what about the green dice? Yeah, that's the pattern of five. So we're going to use these sorts of patterns today. And when you just recognise a pattern without counting them, that's called subitizing. OK, right. Here's some more dice. There's three dice with the same pattern on. What pattern is that? Yeah, that's five. So today we're going to use those patterns to subitize and count on from five. So I'm going to show you. So the first one, see if we said the red one, we could do five, six, seven, eight. So we're counting on. We don't need to start from one. Can you help me do the blue dice? Right, here we go. So we're going to start from five and then we're going to carry on and count the spots. So we say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. That's much quicker, isn't it, than starting from one. Right, can you do the green dice? So we're going to start from five. Are you ready? So you'll go 
five. How many were there? Nine. Good job. Right, so we're going to carry on using our tens frame. Do you remember we used this in our last episode? Right, here's another pattern that is going to help us today. So look carefully. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So if we look at half of a tens frame, it's five. So I'm going to swap those for counters like this. So when we see a whole line that is full, we know there is five. So we can count on from five. Right. Don't forget that. You ready? Right. So we've got two dice here now. And one of them has got the pattern of five. So I'm going to put five counters in my tens frame. And then I'm going to put the other ones in. So if we look at this dice, I need to count those spots into my frame. So you ready? So we'll start from five and we're going to go five, six, seven, eight. So we're counting on from five. So there are eight spots there. All right, let's have another go. So we've got that five again. So let's put five in the frame like this. And then we're going to count on from five. So we need to put that spot in. Are you ready? So we'll go five, six. So there are six counters. There are six spots. Right, this last one, I want to see if you can do it independently. So do you notice a pattern there? Yeah, there's five, isn't there? So we can put this five in here. Now, what do we have to do? Yeah, we need to put these spots in the other side of the frame. So let's count them in. You ready? Are we going to count from one? No, we count from five, don't we? So we're going to say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you notice about our tens frame? It's full, isn't it? So when it's full, we know there are ten. Good job. Right, here's your challenge for this week. So, are you ready? Pick a random number from zero to ten. Then count the correct amount into your tens frame. But don't forget, can you count on from five? Then when you've done that, repeat it with another number. Then here's your greater depth challenge. Are you ready? So, Using the tens frame, start with five. Then choose a number card from five to ten. How many do you need to count on to get to that number? And I'm going to give you an example now, so I'm going to show you. Are you ready? So, here's my tens frame. Oh, we've got the number eight. So, I'm going to count on from five. So, I'm going to put five in there. And I need to see how many I need to get to eight. So we've got five. How many more do I need to put in? So let's check. So we're going to go five, six, seven, eight. How many more counters did I put in my frame? Yeah, I put three more in. All right. Good job. Right, amazing job today, guys. You are doing really well with your numbers to 10. So that's all we've got time for. So make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.